Be sure to stick around to see what it looks like. Starting off, we need to build the mountains that the bunker is dug into. I think brown concrete makes sense to use. And I am finally done. Yeah, admittedly, this looks really bad, but I think it works. After this, it was time to build the roads leading to the base. And now that we have the roads that totally do not look like anything else, it is time to build the inside. The bunker has a starting entrance hallway, so I will start with that. And boom we are done. But as you can see, there are a lot of mobs. So, it was time to add in some lights. A few moments later. And now we are done with the lights. Also if you are wondering I did add some light blocks here. Now it is time to make the back hallway areas. I think I am going to make it connect up like this. For the blast door that can be seen in the hallway, I use this design. Going down the corridor here, you can see a few doors that don't really lead anywhere. And then we come to this room. This room legit took like 14 hours to build. So as you can see, this room includes multiple areas, such as the conveyor belt, the entrance, the exit, the walkway, the pipe area up top, and the engineer area at the bottom. On the walkway area, we get to see an assortment of the medical rooms and chemical areas which I recreated to the best of my ability in my opinion this was one of the most fun areas to build in this entire place, as it has cool design, and I could recreate the insides as I wanted. The conveyor belt is obviously based on the conveyor from the actual series. While it doesn't really come from or go to anywhere, I still think that I did a good job. At the very bottom, I made several parts, mainly the two blocky yellow engines on the ledge, the control panel that overlooks the lower engineer area, the lower conveyor belt that is used to move the white skibbity toilets around, and the lower engineer area with the containers with supplies, the robotic arm, and the special kind of container with glass. Finally, up top, we have the pipe area. Next, we have the elevator which the squad takes down into the bottom floor in episode 68 part 2. We are at the bottom floor. Down here we have the grate, the roller thingy, and whatever else is down here I don't know. We are now entering the areas where episode 69 takes place. Here we have the prison cells. Most of them don't lead anywhere, but some do. Around this next area are the door where the Michael Jackson skibbity toilet comes out of. The door to the next room, the mobile stairs, the upper floor, and the actual stairs that lead up to the walkway and the shipping crate where the skibbity mutant jumps down from. Up here, we just have a ventilation system that has windows that overlook the rest of this section. In this area, we have multiple doors. The first is where whatever this is comes from, and the next door is the exit. In here, we have multiple crates, this door, and this hallway. Up top, we mainly have the balcony, some stairs, and a short walkway. Lastly, we have this tunnel that leads up to what is presumably the part of the laboratory that develops acid.
Now, it is time for an Elytra tour. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. See you next time. Peace.